Hey everyone, this is Jeff from Church Motion Graphics and I wanted to do a very quick tutorial on how we like to uh, loop um, our particle systems using Trapcode Particular uh, in After Effects. I'm going to go through this very quickly. Um, I, I really don't want to explain a lot of things. This is for someone that is familiar with Trapcode and familiar with After Effects. Okay, so I'm going to create a new composition. This is where I'm going to put particular. I'm going to create a new solid. Put particular right on that solid so that it admits. Now I want to make a loop that is uh, 10 seconds long. So if it's 10 seconds long, I like to make my composition double the length of the loop. I'm going to stretch this out going to go into particular. I'm going to make a hold frame uh, for the particles per second uh, at whatever speed I, I'd like. So I'm just going to leave it at 100 and then at 10 seconds I'm going to make another hold frame at 0 particles per second. So it, you know, it starts out and then once it hits 10 seconds it just stops admitting uh, any particles. Okay. Perfect. Um, go into this project. I'm, let's say this is my emitter, and I want to nest this in another composition, so I'm just going to drag it in. This is going to be my emitter loop, and I'm going to open up that composition. Now, this composition is 20 seconds long, and my motion is going to be 10 seconds long, so composition settings. 10 seconds and I go to right to my uh, last frame of my composition and go page down so go one more frame so I'm past the uh, the end of the composition edit uh, split layer and then go to the start of my composition and um, slide I, I really just sl slid this uh, this layer all the way to the beginning so now what's happening is my bottom layer, the start, is, is starting and it keeps going and then I split that so that it, well that's basically my seamless loop right there. Um, I'll turn this bottom layer off. So basically right at 10 seconds it stops admitting any particles as the bottom layer um, begins to emit particles. Okay. And then what I like to do with that emitter loop, I like to nest that one in another composition. And let's, you know, call this final. Open that composition. And now I have one layer um, that I can add effects to, um, do whatever I want with. And, uh, not feel restricted by having to manage, um, you know, two layers all the time. So let me go back into my emitter composition. And the beauty of this technique uh, is that it all works on one layer with one particular effect, um, you know, attached to it. I've seen this done before where users will. Um, you know, put particular on a layer and then split, you know, they'll split that layer, right? And then kind of move that layer over here. And it, it does the same, it does the same thing that I did. But the problem with this is that, let's say, oh, well, you know, I want my particles to be a different color. I want them to be red. Well, you have to change it on that layer and then you have to change it on your, your other layer that has particular on it. Um, and this might seem like, oh, not a big deal, uh, but with the compositions we make, um, you know, we can easily change, I don't know, 25, uh, maybe maybe more settings in particular, and we're, we want to tweak those on the fly to, to create the look we want. And you, you don't want to be managing, you know, two separate 
layers with particular um, all the time. So if, if I have it on one, let's go back, I can feel free to, you know, change whatever I want um, on this layer and then I can go back to, I think this was my final one, and, and have a seamless loop. Here, there, here's the beginning of the frame, here's the end of the frame, and this will, this will s loop seamlessly. Right? Now one thing to note with this technique is that you can't have the life of your particles longer than um, really twi uh, than the length of your of your motion, right? So here's you know my marker at 20 seconds. I can't make the life longer than 10 seconds, or um, by the by the time my my composition reached 20 seconds there's still particles left and you don't want that because it, it won't loop seamlessly if you have that so make sure that that is um, you know equal to or less than um, the length of your of your motion loop and the other thing to watch out for is uh, there's your life but then there's also your random life okay so you're saying oh you know my my life uh, is, is at 10 seconds but if you have a, a life random up, some of your particles will be over um, that 10 seconds. So you know you got to keep that in mind. So what I do, I just go to the last frame, and let's say I have life random up, you know, to 100%. I just move this slider down, my life slider down, until really all of my all of my particles are are gone, and uh, that seems to work most of the time. Um, yeah, that that's basically my tutorial. I just wanted to do you know something very simple to show how we like to loop um, particular. Hopefully you find this helpful and hopefully uh, you're able to make uh, better motion loops that uh, um, you know just loop a lot better and are easy to work with. All right, this is Jeff from Church Motion Graphics. Thanks for watching.